there. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm just thrilled to have you here with me today for a really fun video. And what happened is that Ciate London sent me a little kit full of things just maybe two weeks ago. And the first thing I tried was this wing kit. It is called the Fierce Wing Kit by Ciate London. Yes, Fierce Wing Stamp because it comes with two tubes. The first is a left and a right stamp and the second is the little liquid liner that goes along that makes the stamp into a long eye line. And I really like both of these. And one of the neatest things is this whole kit is only $19 on Amazon. And the wonderful thing about Amazon is if you try it and you don't like it, you can send it back, which I do exercise that quite a bit, actually. If it's not a good product that I will continue using, it does go back, but I have definitely decided to keep this Fierce Wing Kit. I showed my eyes done with this kit in another couple of videos, and I asked if you like the look and if you would like to see how I accomplished it, and you said yes, so this video is the answer to that. In just a few minutes, I'll show you exactly how I created this winged liner with this Fierce Liner Kit. But before I get into that, I did want to show you the outfit and jewelry that I'm wearing today. All of it is from Amazon. It's super comfortable and quite reasonable. And if you're not yet a member of the 50 Plus Beauty family, we look at all things pro-aging here, I would say, or anti-aging if you want to use that term. But regardless of the term, we're all about looking the best we can and feeling the best we can in our second half. And if you'd like to subscribe, it is totally free. And when you click that little bell, that just sends you email notifications of my future videos. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would be just awesome. Okay, let's get into this. Now I'll be taking off my eye makeup to show you how I created this winged liner look. Okay, now I'm up close and personal to give you a good look at this. I have my makeup on all over my face except for the eyeliner. And I've not been loving my pure eyeliner lately, so I'm excited to try this for you. I've used it maybe four times, so I'm still kind of new at it. It is a very new product without a lot of reviews yet, so you'll be one of the first people to probably see a video about this. Okay, let's go ahead and go in, and in the kit we have the wing stamp piece, which gives you the predefined wings outside. You have a left and a right side, and then we have the little eyeliner, and Ciate London also sells a very nice liquid liner, so I'm excited to show you this. Okay, let's go ahead and let's see what side is what. This side is to be used on the left, and as you can see, it is a little wing-shaped, eyeliner-tipped shaped end. And so I'll go ahead and use it on the left. It looks like a little triangle here. I'll go ahead and put it on there for you. See, that made a perfect, perfect little wing. Okay, now I'm going to start on the left, and I always think it's helpful to pull the skin a little bit to the left. And that gave me a little wing there. And so then I'll go in, and what you do is that wing is not in perfect shape. It's pretty good, but then you take the little felt tip eyeliner here, and then you just sort of go in and fill it in in any areas that you need it to be filled in in. And wow, that's a, that's a heck of a wing, maybe a little bit long there. I probably shouldn't have added any extra width on it. Okay, now I'm up close and personal, so hopefully you can get a good look at this wing stamp kit. It's again, Ciate London. It's fairly new. They sent it to me in PR, and I was so excited to give it a try because I've always admired people who can get that wonderful wing look without much effort, and supposedly this is a really good way to do that. And basically, this is a two-ended wing stamp. And this one says left. So this is the left stamp, and I'll show you what it looks like. It basically looks like a little, a little triangle, a little perfect wing there. And so I'm going to shake it up again. I don't know if, if using it on my hand would have uh, impacted that. But I'll go ahead. This is my left side. So I'll go ahead and just do one little stamp here. And as you can see, there that is. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. Well, no, maybe I'll go ahead and finish off that side. And what you do is you go in and finish that off with this wonderful little winged liner. Actually, this isn't winged liner. It's just a wonderful little thin felt tip. And you're going to go in and just kind of fill in any areas that, that the stamp missed. There we go. 
And as you can see, it resulted in the perfect little wing. Then I'm going to go ahead and connect the wing with an eyeliner line. And I wish you could see this. You'll be able to see the other side better. Go ahead and pull that down onto the eyelash line. So that is how that looks. Maybe I'll make it a little bit, a little bit darker. And this goes on beautifully. Very impressed with the little felt tip here. So there is that wing on this side, and I'm going to run in and get my water liner and bring that back because I think that will help. I didn't apply water liner, and I think it's important. Okay, and this is what I've been using in my water line. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner in black, and I've just got the tip kind of sharpened there, and I'll just go in in the water line area right under the row of lashes. So there is how that looks, and I'm going to go ahead and waterline the other side just so it will be all done. And I'll just go ahead and go in here. I think the waterlining makes a huge difference. It's important if you want your lashes to look thick and if you want that eyeliner line to be all filled in. Okay, let's go ahead and go in on the right side. And this says right here, so we'll go ahead. I'm, I'm glad they have two. And so there is how that one looks. And basically, I'm just going to go in and stamp it. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very, very easy. I'm surprised at how easy this really is. And I'll go in with the liner and fill in the rest. And basically, I'm missing a little piece here, a little chunk. Very easy to fill in. Okay, I think that's about as good as it gets. And I do think that this is a learning curve kind of a tool and that over a few weeks of doing this, you would get even better at it, that's for sure. Okay, now let's go in and do some mascara. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Ciate London Mascara that they sent to me in that little batch of things they sent. And I have never used this mascara before. This is my Shiseido Eyelash Curler. If you want your eyelashes to really be curled upward, Always lift your elbow. And I did a video recently. Oh, that looks much better already, amazingly enough. Now, I normally use the Stila Magnum Lash, and I love this stuff because I had lash extensions about two months ago, and it basically took away all my eyelashes. And so this makes it look like I've got really good lashes. Plus, I use that Revita Lash, which really, really does help. Let me find their mascara. Where the heck is it? Okay, here it is. It's called Wonder World Mascara. Wonder Wo no, one Wonder Wand Mascara. I guess mascara is kind of a wonder world. You know, it, it kind of does really help us look a lot better. And it says here on the outside, 95% saw 24-hour wear results. 95.6% saw extreme lash length, which I always like that. 97% almost saw intense lash volume and curl. And the last one, I cannot see but I'm sure it says that it is really great. So we'll see how this works out. And it's a nice thick tube, which I always like that. And uh, basically, there it is. There's a nice big head there. It doesn't have as much of a waist as I normally like to see on that. The Stila Magnum Mascara has a very defined waist on it. It goes in, and for some reason, I think that helps your lashes look long and very voluminous, very thick. Actually, I think I, I think I kind of do like this mascara. No, I'm not sure. I am really not sure. No, I'm not thinking I do like this mascara. I like the, the wing tip kit, definitely, very much. Because if your eyeliner challenged, like most of us at this age, we didn't grow up with making all these wings and that kind of thing. I think the kit is very helpful and it being only $19 is a really good deal. I'll put a second coat of this mascara on there, but I'm not loving it. I think what I'm going to do real quick... No, I don't love this. I'm going to go in with my Stila Magnum. 
This does not look like very thick lashes at all. I think the wing kit is good again, but I don't love their mascara. And this is what I mean by the, by the head with the waist. It's one of the biggest fluffiest heads I've ever had. And I really think it does beautiful things to your lashes. Yeah, much better. It's kind of hard since I have that first mascara on, which I didn't really love that first mascara, of course. I think that first mascara, the Ciate London, almost gives you that spidery look to where your, your lashes don't look like one big sheet of thick lashes. They just look like they stick out in spikes and uh, that's not really what I like. I like more of a more of a uniform mascara look. And now that I've now that I've added that first mascara, this is gonna be really tough. It probably won't look as good for sure as it normally does. That's not too bad. I think I will use my metal lash comb here, and I love this thing. And it's only like five bucks. I'll link it. It's very helpful to groom your eyelashes after you put the mascara on to get out the clumps and that kind of thing. Now, now I'm so disappointed in how the mascara is turning out. I'm going to give it one more, one more coat. Okay, there is how that looks. And I really kind of think I like it. It looks very dramatic to have the wings on there. And my husband does not like this look. He has already told me that. And let me know in the comments section if you like the look of the winged liner. Let me know what you think, if you think it's wonderful or if you think maybe it's a little over the top because I'm truthfully not sure at all what I think. I think I do like it, especially for an evening out though, as it is pretty dramatic looking. Okay, thanks for being with me as I used a wing liner kit and I'll link it below. Again, it's only $19 and if you get it from Amazon and you don't like it, you can always send it back. That is something that I take advantage of quite regularly. And I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And my thought actually came from a comment that I read this morning. And I do read all of your comments, except for the videos that are like runaway videos. It's impossible to read through 5,000 comments, but I do the best I can. And I had a comment this morning from Sylvia Mead. And thank you so much for your comments, Sylvia, because I think it was just wonderful. And this is a fashion related comment. Sylvia said that to decide on purchasing a certain clothing item, either expensive or inexpensive, she always asks the question, would Jackie O wear this item? Would Jackie O wear this item? And you know, I have never really thought about it that succinctly before, but you know, like all of us, I try to look as classy as possible and no one does class but Jackie Onassis. The way she used to dress when she was walking this earth was just amazing, very classic, very elegant, very much that new quiet luxury look. And I just thought that was so wonderful, Sylvia. And I plan to use that thought whenever I purchase anything, either from Nordstrom's very high end or from Amazon. I will ask the question, would Jackie O wear this? And if the answer is no, I'll do my best not to buy it. And if you also have great fashion tips that help you learn how to navigate yourself through the stores and learn what to buy or not buy, I hope you'll share the information in the comments section below the video because that way we can help each other, which is always wonderful. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.